I learned today there's some 1,200 escalators, elevators, and moving walkways maintained by Miami-Dade County. About half of that here at MIA, where thankfully most of those things are working, but clearly not all of it. What goes up sometimes breaks down. We have more wear and tear in all, in all of our units than any other county department has just because of our size. There are some 200 elevators, 300 escalators, and 100 moving walkways at MIA. Nearly 50 of them, though, have not moved in some time. We found broken lifts next to working ones, just yards from broken escalators and moving walkways at a standstill. It's a challenge. Uh, but the percentages are low and the numbers are coming down. It's a countywide challenge at government buildings, Metro Rail and Metro Mover stations. Elevators and escalators down for weeks, months, in some cases a year. Do I see it getting better? Um, I can't say that on the transit system yet. Where most of the issues are, says the county mayor. The county doesn't handle repairs, its contractors do. We got a pretty lengthy statement from one of them, Schindler, which is handling the bulk of that work. The company says most of the escalators and elevators at the Metro Mover station were built and installed some 40 years ago by different companies. The company says those systems are well past their life cycles, something the mayor acknowledged. They have made some proposals for replacement of elevators. We have to look if that's the best course. Obviously, that's a huge capital investment. Outdoor exposure and weather only make them more prone to failure. Schindler says it's committed to reliability and safety and providing the best service possible, even as the county puts out new bids for new vendors. And speaking of vendor, there was supposed to be a meeting with internal county staff and uh, Schindler representatives to kind of address some of these issues. We'll see if any of those talks will move the needle on this. In the meantime, at least here at the airport, we know that financing these repairs and replacements is a bit different here because no taxpayer money is used here. All of the money used for the repairs here at the airport, they're generated by revenue generated by the airport here. So they say there's a modernization plan to make sure that what isn't working here, a small percentage of that, will be fixed within the year. We'll see if that happens as well. We're live here at MIA, Larry Livingston, Local 10. All right.